Okay, so let's look at a little bit more detail of the flavours and the additives on offer. Uh, we've got basically three different ranges of flavours. Firstly, we've got the response flavours, um, which cover the, the sort of fishy flavours, salmon and shrimp. We've got spicy fla flavours, fruity, pineapple, extremely good flavour, the pineapple catches and catches. Black currant, there's, there's all sorts there. There's strawberry zest, another winner. Um, and also in this range, we've got the Hydra Sweet, which is an intense sweetener that's designed to work well with these flavours. Now there's 12 flavours in this range, but they're not just a different flavour on the same base. There's different bases used within the range. So there really is uh, a definitive difference between the flavours that you choose. The Active Aids are actually um, flavours that we import from America and they're used in the animal feed industry and with the blend of aminos and flavours it actually triggers a feeding response um, which they use in animals and fish um, so you've obviously got that as an extra it's not just labelling your bait it is actually triggering a feeding response from the carp so nice little concise range of flavours with added attraction with the aminos and the palatants and finally we have the Profile Plus range of flavours. These are, these are like the Rolls Royce of the flavours. Um, they're highly concentrated. They've got a very lingering smell and taste uh, and they're designed to work in all water temperatures. They're highly water soluble. Um, they are a little bit more expensive um, than your standard flavours, but a small amount goes a long way because of the concentration of these. And they really are handpicked as our best flavour range. We've got three oils in the range. Firstly, we've got the Foss oil. Um, this was developed in the farming industry as a coating for pellets. Um, but if you add it to a base mix, it adds a high fat content to the bait. Um, it's a very good ingredient. Uh, secondly, we've got the ultramarine oil, um, which has been heat treated. And what happens there is that prevents it coagulating in cold water, so you can you know, use it as a, win, in a, as a winter additive in your bait as well. And both of those oils, um, you should use at about 15 mils to a pound of bait. And lastly, we've got the hemp oil. Now, the hemp seed oil uh, is a brilliant additive, not only to go within a bait, but you can use it for coating pellets, uh, adding to any sort of mixes, stick mixes, uh, it's PVA friendly, so you know any sort of bag mixes you want to add it to. You can coat floaters with it. It's particularly good for coating floaters if you've got a choppy surface on the water. And you'll find what happens is as the hemp oil comes out of the floaters, it will flatten the surface of the water. It holds the ripple down, so it creates a, a, a flat area where you can see what's taking the bait and, and just makes it a little bit easier to fish. So that's the hemp oil, and that completes the three oils. The final two liquids in the range. Uh, Multi-stim, which is a, a feed triggering agent, and metamino, which is a liver compound, a liquid liver compound. Um, and both of these can be used, again, within the mix, or like the hemp seed oil, can be used as a coating for pellets or an additive to any bag stick mix. Um, or for coating floaters, whatever you like really. You know, this is, uh, especially the metamino, it's a lovely, strong, smelly, liver compound, um, dissipates well in the water, just an ideal little extra edge for your bait. So there you have it, everything you need for making your own bait. You can make it as simple or as complex as you like.